Hey YouTube friends, my name is Anisha Maria and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how I achieved my first ever successful wash and go. Okay. <laughs> so I'm starting off on clean hair, washed and conditioned um, and deep conditioned as well. And I'm just going to section off my hair into smaller sections just to make it easier and to begin I'm going to use a leave-in today I am using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Restore Leave-In Conditioner it's my first time using it and I actually really enjoyed it so I'm just going to take a good amount of that and apply that to the entire section Then I'm just going to take my brush and smooth that through and to help detangle it a little more. And for the star of this show, my styler I'm using is the Blue Wet Line Extreme, one of my favorite gels of all time. So I'm just going to take a good amount of that and put it into my section. Now, if you didn't notice, I did subsection my first section so i took my first section and broke it down into a smaller section and that helps me just make sure that the product gets over all of my strands and the method that i am using is the raking and smoothing method so i kind of rake the product through smooth it through take my brush to smooth it through a little more and then go back to raking And if you didn't notice as well in my technique, I make sure that I get my roots. Do not forget to put the products on your roots, girl. And as you can see, my hair is so defined, so shiny. It looks so good. So proud of myself. <laughs> and I really just did that same process throughout my whole head just to save you guys some time. I didn't think it was necessary to show you all of it but literally deep conditioner subsection my section put the gel on pretty easy then once i was finished my head just took a comb to you know lay my edges add a little bit more gel on the top and in areas where i felt that it needed and just look at my hair, it's so shiny, so defined. I absolutely loved it. And even the bag, you see it has movement, it's not all stiff, it was perfect. So for drying, I did let my hair sit for about 20 minutes. You can either let it air dry for 20 minutes or sit in a hooded dryer, that's what I did. I sat under the hooded dryer and then once I was done, I took my blow dryer with the diffuser attachment and just diffused my hair, focusing more so on my scalp to try to help dry that area more. Now this technique I did get from Happy Curl, Happy Girl here on YouTube. Um, her real name is Raina. If you don't follow her, you really need to because she's a pro at these washing goals but i got this from her to where you just diffuse your hair first not scrunching it up though just diffusing it to help blow dry it and then take the blow dryer without the attachment and blow dry your hair the rest of the way and if you can see i'm kind of pulling the ends of my hair this is also helping to stretch my hair as well so i'm drying it the rest of the way and i'm also stretching it to get some of that length back and here's just a better visual of how i blow dried it so if you see i'm really holding it at the ends or holding my hair towards the bottom and pulling it taut just to help it dry in that stretch state and once I was finished blow drying, this is literally how my hair looked and it stayed really defined, really shiny for such a long time. 
I absolutely loved it. And like I said in the beginning, in the beginning this was my first successful wash and go. I'm super happy. But thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.